Okay guys, going forward this week with major blocks to change, we've got number three today and it's an interesting one and this is a tough one for most people to admit. Stay right there, I'm David Essel, David Essel's Daily Video Boost, your exclusive online video community to lift your spirits every day. Your coach, counselor, and cheerleader, David Essel, sitting here saying, come on gang, let's rock. Take notes, don't trust your brain, take notes, do something today you'd rather not do. The third block, the third major block to changing your life and to becoming more successful is arrogance. I don't need the help. I already know what I need to do. Have you done it? No, but I don't need help. Are you sure you don't need help? No, I don't need help. Why? Because I'm smart enough. But you haven't changed. You're right, I haven't changed. So do you think you need help? No, I don't need help. Honey, we've been driving around the block for three and a half hours. Do you think you need help in finding this address that we're going to? No, I don't need help. Do you want to drive another hour and a half? Maybe it's a nice day. We were supposed to be there three and a half years, hours, three and a half years, three and a half hours ago, right? That's arrogance. You know, it's arrogance. It's like, I'm not going to get humble and vulnerable. I'm arrogant. <laughs> Is that you? Write it down. Where am I arrogant in life that's holding me back? Listen, these videos are supposed to trigger thoughts within you. We all are arrogant in some way or another. We all don't think we need to ask for help, do the, the difficult work to change to get the result we want, okay? I'm arrogant, you're arrogant, oh my God. Let me give you an example of my arrogance. For years I taught, as you guys know, in the book and behind me and in the new book coming out, we even go into it more where I apologize for my crap teachings. I was arrogant. If someone said to me, I've got a great, another great story. I haven't told you the first one, but another one just came into my head. And if you can read my mind, you're already laughing your butt off. I can remember dating this wonderful woman in the 90s and she would come home and I was really into running and I was weight training a little bit but really into running and she came home and told me that the guys at the gym who had really muscular bodies were eating high protein, low carbohydrates. I said, are you kidding me? That's crazy. Carbo loading is where it is. I was arrogant. I was wrong and arrogant. Most of the time when we're arrogant, we're wrong. You know, so I said, oh my God, it took me a year of her saying it. And I was jealous and I was insecure because I didn't want her telling me some guys at the gym that had better bodies than me knew more than I did, right? I was arrogant. How about you? Write it down. Usually the area of life, weight, health, love, money, uh, uh, addiction recovery, spirituality, career, usually the area of life that we struggle the most in, we are the most arrogant in. And if you can look in the mirror and call yourself out as being arrogant in this one area of life and write it down on paper, oh my God, when you refuse to ask for help, that's arrogance. People could say it's, it's insecurity and it's a lack of vulnerability. And sure, but those things all fall underneath arrogance. I don't need help. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Don't forget to let your friends, and don't, write this down. Don't forget to let your friends and family know that we're on the air for them as well. And if you wanna shatter any of the blocks we're talking about this week, to bring your life to the next level, my Lord, email me at talkdavid.com. You and I will do it together and we will kick butt, guaranteed. <laughs> Have a great day.